Is it safe to say if YouTube is informing channel creators that they need to be COPPA compliant, they go through the training, moving forward, content creators are more at risk than the actual platform at being fined? Content creators are always at risk of being fined because they're the con they, and the and channel owners because there we have a situation where we have a website or an online service that is directed to children. So there in the general audience platform, we still have this knowledge requirement that we have to that we have to prove up. So there is, um, I think, in theory as well as practically speaking. Uh, generally a, a, a higher risk for channel owners and content creators who, after all, are, con are creating this content. Okay, the hardest thing is, as a non-native speaking person, to spread awareness about a huge topic like that. So let me try to find the right words. If I'm making mistakes, I want to apologize for that already. I still hope that I can um, describe it as good as possible. If not, links are always in the description below to someone that is able to explain it a lot more and can get even more into detail. Shoutouts to Chatstronic. But now let's try to start today's video. I really don't know if you have already heard about it or if you have already seen if you are a content creator yourself. Um, but there have been a few changes when it comes to YouTube's community guidelines. Um, it's not 100% YouTube's fault this time. It's more like YouTube kind of was forced by the FTC and by the Koopa, by the government themselves. Uh, it's all about children content. Is your content made for children or not? And this is where a lot of problems are already coming up, especially to those that are specifically creating content for children, like toy review channels, toy unboxing channels, um, channels where there actually is a child in front of a camera like a child actor etc. I hope you're gonna get the gist. The problem is if you are creating content for children your content is gonna suffer a lot from it because they won't get sent out anymore as notifications you're gonna lose 90% of your ad revenue you can't write any comments anymore it's it's pretty much impossible to find this video in the search bar. It's not findable anymore, only if you share the link probably. So people that have been making a living uh, from content like that, their channels are probably gonna die. Now YouTube gave us the opportunity to let us decide if our content is directed to children or if it's not. And here is the huge problem. If I go to my video dashboard, to that one specific video and I say, hey, yeah, this video actually is targeted to children, then I'm gonna suffer from the previous points that I just showed you in this video. We're not gonna send any notifications out. I'm not gonna get the ad revenue that I usually deserve. Um, it's not recommended anymore. It's just freaking awful. Now, some probably of you might say, but Luigi Kid, your content isn't directed to children, isn't it? And I would usually say, yes, it's, actually pretty much for everyone. I play most of the time horror games, even though I'm trying to make them as entertaining as possible. But here is the next big thing. If, if the people from Copa are looking for content creators and if your content seems to be for children, then you are the one that is pretty much in trouble. If you mark your content the wrong way and if the government says, hey, you did that wrong, they gonna flag the video and you have to pay up to $42,000 per video. And now here's the big thing, my dedicated bros. I'm a niche YouTuber. I'm playing lots of Super Mario horror games. People from the FTC only see, hey, that is Super Mario. Super Mario is also for children. Even though I would say now the average age for Mario is probably 18 to 20, I don't know. But the thing is that Super Mario, Sonic, all that Disney stuff, that the EXE games that I've played, that were characters from the childhood, that is stuff where children could potentially click on those videos. And then I didn't mark it as a children video, and the FTC says, hey, it is a children video, but it's actually not because it's a horror game, because of the .exe games. But the government doesn't know better. Damn it! Also my name, Luigi Kid, where the name Kid is inside. I really have to consider changing my name because of that. Because the name Luigi Kid 
could mean in their eyes that my channel and my content is dedicated to children. And this is a pretty much the scary thing. I really have to consider changing my name. But that would also mean that this brand, Luigi Kid, that I've built up, working together with brands like Red Bull, Nintendo, being an esports player for the Tickling Tentacles will harm. It pretty much means it was all for nothing because I have to change my brand's name that I've built up just because the FEC could think that I'm only creating content directed to children, which I'm not doing. I always try to upload stuff that can be enjoyed by everyone. Pretty much no idea what we as content creators are supposed to do. If a video is marked as 18 plus, then you won't get any ad revenue. And if it's for people above the age of 12 or 13, then you are safe and sound. But as I said it, I'm doing niche content. I'm playing lots of horror games with Mario characters or Sonic characters. Characters that children would play as well. And this is where things are about to get super scary and I have no idea what I'm supposed to do anymore and how hard it's gonna hit my channel. If it would hit me, if some people from the FTC would say, Luigi Kid, this is children content and I'm like, no dude, look at that. It's pretty much dedicated to people above the age of 13 because it's horror stuff. But they're like, no, they're Super Mario because they don't know better. Because there are a bunch of old people having no idea about the internet. They just see Mario's for children. I'm super afraid guys and if I mark the video the wrong way, I would have to pay up to $42,000 and that's not what I even earn in a year. And now for the 2000 videos that I've already uploaded on my channel, I would have to pay millions of dollars, which would probably mean the end of Luigi Kid. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do anymore. Should I just private my videos? Should I delete it? Should I just stop uploading my videos? I have really no idea. It's now all about spreading awareness and wait for the very best. There's a petition that you can sign until December the 9th. Please make sure to do so, but until then we have no idea what we content creators were supposed to do. Maybe I have to mark all my videos in a thumbnail in the title that it's for people over the age of 13. I don't know, it's an idea that just came into my mind. But this could be potentially the end of Luigi Kid or of my channel in general. And I'm super afraid of that. Having built up so much stuff, a huge community and many many dedicated bros and dads, it's it's just horrible to think about it. If this thing is really getting through, then things are about to change on YouTube in 2020 on January the 1st. I'm super afraid of it. I hope we can somehow keep you updated, my dedicated bros and dads. As I said, it if you would get more details, uh, better information, then check out the video by Chattronic. Link is down in the description below. It's definitely a lot easier to understand how he explains it than I explain it. And uh, I still hope that I was able to spread a little bit of awareness. And you should do so as well, guys. You know, it's not only me suffering from that. Everyone on YouTube is suffering from that. And it's really unfair. I just want to create content for people that enjoy it and that they love it. And I love making people happy. Is it a crime to make people happy? Let me know down in the comment section below, guys. With that being said, thank you so much for watching.